What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 28 now of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. Special guest is going to be the Raw View, he was on in a much earlier episode of the series, this time returning as a special guest to show off his crazy clean triple monitor setup. I think you guys are really going to like it, and as always, we'll be showing off the craziest setups, so I hope you enjoy, kick back and relax, and we'll start off episode 28. Starting it off with Classic Tim, we have a quadruple 4K display setup here. Yes, as you can imagine with all those pixels, gaming would be an absolute insane experience. Those are three Samsung 48 inch 4K TVs, which literally surround his entire peripheral vision with pixels. Into his main carry he's rocking a Corsair K70 RGB keyboard with a TT eSports Theron gaming mouse. Now, if you notice on top, he does have an overhead display and a microphone, which are both mounted to articulating arms there. Now this is extremely productive for him in case he wants to pull the microphone down in front for doing voiceovers, and it'll easily allow him to do so. As well as that overhead monitor, a Dell 27 inch 4K monitor that can be placed right in front of his eyes at eye level for close up 4K gaming. And in case for just one second you thought to yourself he has enough displays in this setup, well guess what? Right by his side, he has his girlfriend's gaming setup with triple monitors as well. This station is all blue themed to complement his red setup, which they dubbed their fire and ice setup. I like it. And just as you thought I was done glorifying this masterpiece, one more thing for you. Oh yeah, a 120 inch projector hooked up to his main computer so he can play some games on there if he wants. And this is connected to his PS4 so he can also kick back, play some Battlefront and chill. Nice to have some PC and console options there for gaming. And then getting into the specs of his PC, it is completely custom water cooled which he did a great job on, especially with that custom bent loop there with that nice DNA looking design. He has an Intel i7 5930K on the MSI X99S Gaming 7 motherboard, two GTX Titan Xs, and 32GB of DDR4 RAM. Damn, what a way to start off an episode, coming in strong for sure. Next up, I'm really digging the way this one's laid out. Three monitors, an overhead, as well as a laptop with some LED lights for backlighting. But he has two BenQ 27 inch gaming monitors, surrounded by a 4K Samsung 28 inch monitor in the middle. He's a 1080p 43 inch Sony TV as his overhead, and powering everything inside his PC is an i5 4690K and two GTX 970s with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Got a section here to show off his Star Wars collectibles, big fan of that, some boxes and some throwback comic books, with some LED lights behind, and some theater seating here to kick back and play some games or watch some stuff on that overhead display. And for his peripherals, his Logitech G13 keypad, Logitech G600 MMO mouse, and the Logitech G105 keyboard. Moving over to his side setup for music production, got the Focusrite Scarlett 212, some JBL Pro Studio monitors, the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, and the Akai Professional MPK249 keyboard. And for console gaming if you want, got the Xbox One, presumably hooked up to that overhead display, but just all in all, a very solid setup here for both gaming and music. Next up is tech YouTuber Amanda Woolsey, who has completely transformed her setup over the past year and has definitely caught my attention. So I wanted to show it off for you guys because it looks really great and it deserves to be on this show. She has the Rhino Slider Evo for some great smooth panning shots for her YouTube channel. And I'm really digging the choice of an office chair here. It really makes me want to upgrade to something more comfortable like this. Powering her setup is a 2012 MacBook Pro connected to a 2TB G drive for some extra space, as well as the Focusrite Forte for a great choice of an audio interface there. It's a great headphone amp and DAC as well. The MacBook Pro is hooked up to this nice bezel-less 27-inch Asus monitor, which will act as her primary display. To the left we have a rose gold Moto 360, which personally I think is still the best smartwatch to date, and some audio engine A2 plus speakers in white to complement her setup's theme. A very nice selection. Now into peripherals on this nice long mouse mat, I see an Apple trackpad. She's also using the Logitech MX Masters mouse, very popular and highly productive. And one of my favorite keyboards I have ever reviewed, the Varmilla VB87M, a wireless mechanical keyboard. She also has those Gateron clear switches inside, which are probably the smoothest switches I have ever used. Definitely a solid choice of peripherals here. For audio, she has a premium Audio-Technica M70X headphones with the Blue Spark microphone in the limited edition platinum color. Damn. 
and an iPad Mini 2 as her tablet of choice. Altogether, a really great setup, very clean and organized, and just pretty much filled with some of the best gear you can have. This setup now looks extremely clean and minty, or Tiffany blue, I don't know, whatever way, very nice setup. For those monitors, we have three 23 inch Acer monitors with a Cooler Master Storm Quick Fire Rapid Keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches inside and white PPT keycaps, the Logitech G502 mouse, the AT2020 USB microphone, which I'm using right now as pretty much all my other videos as well, and the Audio-Technica N50X headphones, very nice. And that is all in this custom IKEA desk, which is made out of an IKEA shelf stand and an IKEA countertop. Very nicely done. And inside that PC, we have the AMD 8320 CPU with a Corsair H100i cooler. We have the Asus 970 graphics card, all inside the NZXT H440 case. A very nice setup. And what is up y'all, my name's Travis. I run a tech YouTube channel called The Raw View and I do everything from tech reviews to custom water-cooled computers to film gear to desk modding and this is my setup. So everything sits on this custom built desk. I built it out of two pieces of white kitchen countertop and I use conference table desk inserts for cable management when it comes to the keyboard and the mouse. And one of them actually even holds my mouse charger. The legs are black legs from a company called PMI and these legs are no joke. They can actually hold 666 pounds per leg, which is insane. So the speaker stands are made out of two parts, the IKEA Capta, Capti, I'm not 100% sure how do you pronounce that, but that's what that metal thing is, and then some wall shelves that are just black on top. On top of that, I have the foam isolation pads, and on top of that, I'm rocking the Personas Aries E5 studio monitors. Controlling my studio monitors, I have the complete Audio 6 interface, and also on my desk, I'm rocking the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and the Razer Naga Epic Chroma MMO gaming mouse. All my screens are 27 inches and they are the Asus VN279Q monitors. For my chair, I'm using the Vertigear SL5000. This chair looks sick. I love the stealth look of it. For headphones, I use the AKG K553 Pro headphones when I am not using them. They actually get stored in one of the four boxes that I have on the sides of my desk. These, just like my desk, are custom built. They are built out of plywood and the doors are made out of black acrylic. Now these whole things like my camera gear, a printer, computer parts, and other random things. And on top of the black boxes, I have two computers. One is my wife's computer slash guest computer and it's not fully set up yet. I'm actually going to wall mount a monitor on the left wall at some point and have that running to that. This little ITX computer is actually rocking an i5 processor and 970 GTX FTW from EVGA. And now finally, the beast computer that powers my whole setup is called Project Red Gotham. This is a fully custom water-cooled computer with two 980 Ti's, a 5930K, and a custom painted case, custom cables, and there's a lot more stuff in this computer. It's hard to go over everything about this computer in this video. And this is actually the first time that anyone's ever going to see this computer completed. So that is a sneak peek of Project Red Gotham. And the reason I say that's a sneak peek is because I have not even released the last build logs to this computer over on my channel yet. I still have to release build log five and six. So if you're interested in that, or my chair, or my studio monitors, or my desk, make sure to go check my channel out. There will be a link down in the description below. Thank you, Random Frank P, for having me on Room Tour Project. Peace. Boom! <laughs> All right, guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 28 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed, and a big thank you again to Travis from The Raw View for showing off your setup. If you want to check out his channel, I will put it in the description down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. You can follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. Very active on there, always talking to my followers and showing off little channel sneak peeks. And while you're on Twitter, tweet at your favorite tech YouTubers. Tell them you want to see their setup on an episode of Room Tour Project. And lastly, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on future episodes, as well as any of these tech videos I got coming up for the holidays. So don't miss out. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed episode 28. Have a good day.